Hello, my name is Ashish Abraham, and I have served on the Partners of the Americas International Board for a little over two years. I first became aware of the work that Partners of the Americas was doing in South America and the Caribbean through John McPhail, the CEO, someone I've known for more than 10 years now. The partner's mission of empowering communities and individuals and sustaining them through volunteerism and through partnership was something that I immediately connected with. As a physician and as a business entrepreneur who started off as a student immigrant to this country, to the United States 23 years ago, I've always recognized the importance of cross-country partnerships in both education and in health. And I felt that I'd be able to use some of my private sector experiences to help grow the partner's mission and to impact more people across the globe. So when Jan John asked me to consider joining the board, I very happily accepted. Through my involvement with partners over the last two years, I have gained so much. First and foremost, a strong connection of friends and colleagues from so many different countries and across different areas of expertise. I've also been able to see in person the wonderful work done by Partners of Americas in different countries, helping to address the needs of the most vulnerable and marginalized, particularly children in these countries. I've also been able to help in small ways to contribute to the success of the organization as it has dealt with challenges and through it all continued to impact the world in a positive manner. So if you're interested in gaining a professional network and learning from others. And if you're interested in using your experience to help others, I would seriously ask you to consider joining the Partners Board. Thank you, gracias, and obrigado. Hi, my name is Beth Outerson, and I live in Portland, Oregon. I am a member of the Oregon chapter that is partnered with Costa Rica. But for many years, I lived in the Washington, D.C. area and was president of the D.C. chapter that is partnered with Brasilia. I was also a Kellogg Fellow. I've been a member of the Partners Board for about six months. What motivated me to join the Partners Board was a desire to give back to an organization that I love, whose ideals of people-to-people -people connections across the hemisphere continue to inspire me. Here is one example of why I wanted to give back. The DC Brasilia partnership was involved in five high school exchange projects over the years. We called it the Ambassadors of Hope project. It was amazing to see the growth of these young people because of those experiences. The project we had worked so hard on to transform the lives of those young people was transforming me as well. Partners helps me to keep my faith in humanity. It reminds me that cross-cultural friendships can break down barriers. Serving on the board is one way that I can ensure that partners will thrive so, to, uh, so that others can be transformed in the way that I was. Serving on the board means that I get to share my leadership skills at a global level, which impacts all chapters. There is something wonderful about contributing to a cause that is greater than yourself. Board members are passionate about the impact that partners is having and they're also a lot of fun to work with. Thanks for the opportunity to share. I'm Dr. Denise Decker, and I'm glad to speak to you today. I've been honored to serve almost three years on the Partners International Board. Since joining Partners in 1989, I've learned to love and respect this unique cross-cultural organization, both through multiple secretarial and vice presidential terms in the Washington, D.C. and Virginia chapters, and as first a Kellogg, then a Legis Fellow. I ran for the board in 2017 to give back to this inclusive and very welcoming organization that has truly shaped who I am today. On the Partners Board, we build bridges, and as such, I've continued the work of my two fellowships to write, speak, and advocate on behalf of people with disabilities in the countries where we serve. As I'm vision impaired, this is a professional and a personal commitment for me. To contribute to the success of our strategic plan on the board, 
I've drawn on knowledge gained from 30-plus years as a federal manager and officer in the American Association of University Women and other associations. Currently, as co-chair of our board membership development committee, I'm sharing in the enhancement of our membership programs. I also grow culturally and use my Spanish, French, and Portuguese. But most importantly, I interact closely with like-minded volunteers committed to strengthening global community development and civil society. In short, as a member of the International Board, I always strive to make a difference in the lives of those we serve. Thank you for listening and for your belief in Partners of the Americas. Hello, partners. My name is Elias Alcocer. I'm from the Yucatan, Iowa Partnership, located in the state of Yucatan in Mexico. I have participated in activities of my partnership since 1990, and I went to a young exchange in which I worked uh, for a month in a reforestation and taking care of troll's nest in an in ecological uh, reserve. And from there, a very large program was born in 1994 called the Mexican Conservation Corps. This program established about 16 local youth groups, many of them supported by the local partner chapter that exists at that time. Today, I have to admit that there is only one active chapter in Mexico, and I mention it since that situation is what motivates me to enter the board of directors since I began to reflect that our organization had done very good things in our country. Now my job is to convince more people in my country to reintegrate into Compañeros since it is working and fighting for the common goals that we have. Uh, I, I have been part of this board of, of directors for a few months and being here has given me the opportunity to know more about our organization and at the same time work with the wonderful people who are the other members of the boards of directors. I have only uh, had virtual meetings with them due to the pandemic, but that has not been an obstacle to continue working to increase our membership and be able to benefit more and more people throughout uh, our uh, continent. Finally, I really invite you to participate as a member of uh, Board of Directors. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Gary Heisel and I'm a member of the International Board. I've been a member of Partners since 1983 when the Vice President of the University of Georgia came to my office and asked me to consider joining the organization. Since then, I've been a member of chapters in five different states, although I've lived in six, one of those, Hawaii, doesn't have partners. That's a long way of saying that I think this organization is very important and that it does very important work. In my career with 4-H, I spent 40 plus years recruiting and preparing people for volunteer positions. I think it was because of that work and my involvement at the chapter level that someone asked me to consider joining the board. Our Nebraska chapter had had at least two other international board members, so I, I, I knew how important it was and I was willing to make a contribution. And in addition to being able to give back, I was also interested in learning more about partners than you have to know at the chapter level. Serving on the board gives you the challenge of learning more about this complex organization. I think the best part of being on the board is the opportunity to work with other board members and the partner staff, people from all over North and South America. These people are committed to linking and empowering citizens to become agents of change. It's easy to work with people who are really interested in what they're doing, know what's important, and enjoy the work. When I joined the board, Partners was probably at the lowest point as an organization I had known it to be in the 30 plus years I'd been involved at that point. Because John and the entire staff and a very supportive board were committed to making it better, we survived that challenging time. People again went above and beyond for an organization uh, that was really important to them. Now we find ourselves in another challenging time due to the pandemic. While it's made it nearly impossible to have 
professional exchanges in person, it has caused us to utilize technology like we're using today. I've been able to meet people all over North and South America, some of whom I probably would have never met if we had to travel to a common point. I think of only one year left before my second term's over, and I know I'm gonna miss the extra opportunities to interact with other people who value bringing diverse people and ideas together. I hope you'll consider joining the board. Thank you. Hola a todos. My name is Heather Martinez, and I'm from Panama City, Panama. I've been part of the International Board of Directors for almost three years. I joined Partners of the Americas through Partners Campus Panama in 2013. I've participated as a volunteer in many projects. I was part of my chapter's board and became president a couple of years later. I also had the opportunity to work with the Educa Futura project and Panama Teacher Match, which were projects that Partners of the Americas had in Panama. I've always wanted to see more involvement of youth in the network, for youth being part of the organization of conventions and workshops, for youth having more responsibilities within the organization. This is what really motivated me to join the board. I believe in the diversity and inclusion that Partners represents, and I know that the youngest members of our network can bring great contributions to the table as well. I feel so honored and grateful for having the opportunity to be part of the board. I discovered a whole new side of Partners of the Americas, its projects and its members. It's so great to work with an amazing group of people who is so passionate about volunteering and changing lives. I get to learn so much from them. Being part of the board is an awesome experience that I wouldn't change for anything. If you are interested to join the board, please do so. You're not gonna regret it. Hello, I am João Francisco Meira, I live in Brazil, and I've joined Partners Board since the beginning of this year. I've been in touch with Partners from a long time now, and I can testify their efforts in order to integrate, to link up, and to reach for empowering of people in different regions of our Americas. So I can't say that their projects, our projects, are really important in order to change lives, in order to try to make the, the, the social and cultural distances shorter in order to promote fraternity in our region. So this is what partners means to me and this is what motivates me to join and to make part of it. And I believe that if you are willing to make part of this effort and this organization, you will be very much welcome and you will help a lot. So thank you for your interest and thank you for coming. Hi, my name is José Márcio Barros and I'm from Brazil. I live in Vitória, the capital of Espírito Santo state. Our partner uh, state is uh, West Virginia in the US and we have been together for the last 40 years. Uh, my friend Tasso Lugon, that you may know, was responsible for me to join the local chapter in 2002. And in 2017, he convinced me to run for the board of the partners. Uh, last year, I decided to run again and I got elected. So thank you for you folks that elect me. Uh, here at Partners, we have we are uh, conduct by the best practice of the third sector, which is sustainability and governance. We have four committees, and one of them is the Board Development Committee, and that's why I'm here today. I'm here today to incentivate you folks to participate to be a board member to run for election. So. Uh, 
just to have an idea of what you gain for that. You besides to help people, besides to be a volunteer, you've got a chance to meet very nice people. I can tell you, like the two last years, I had the chance to participate in uh, two conventions held by HEP, uh, Higher Education uh, Partnership. So one of them was in 2018 in San Antonio, in Texas. And the last one was held in uh, Guanacaste, in Costa Rica. So uh, get involved, come and help us, hands on. Put yourself to do some uh, work and come and join us.